Welcome to the Blockchain Report, where we discuss all things blockchain technology, digital assets, DeFi, NFTs, and much more. Today's video, we're diving into Stargate Quest on Galaxy. This is a big, big layer zero project or protocol, um, or a protocol built on layer zero. And if you haven't already been layer zero airdrop hunting um, by making transactions and if you've been following me for a little while, you know that I've been making constant transactions on Stargate, um, staking, doing all kinds of stuff to help increase my chances. So Stargate is now launching on Galaxy and there are a quest, a few quests to do. Um, this, this will be a, a two week time frame, the introduction. So you do have a limited amount of time to complete this. So, Get on it soon and get it done, and you can even uh, enjoy a prize pool of 40,500 Optimism distributed between both rewards and subsidized NFT minting. So, before we get started, thank you for joining me. Please like, subscribe, comment, share this out with anyone you think would be interested in the channel, the blockchain technology, and all the cool stuff it has to offer. So, let's get started. So, to start, Stargate's a fully composable liquidity transport protocol. That's a big mouthful uh, that lives at the heart of Omnichain DeFi. With Stargate, users and dApps can transfer native assets cross-chain while accessing the protocol's unified liquidity pools with instant guaranteed finality. The universe is infinite with Stargate. So the Stargate campaign is a celebration of optimism and its wonderful ecosystem and layer zero. <clears throat> Stargate has consistently been the largest bridge for optimism, bridging hundreds of thousands of users and over 1 billion into the network across its lifetime. Each campaign week is an opportunity to learn about Stargate and what it offers, find out what partners are doing within optimism and accumulate points and NFTs along the way. So this does look like it's in the optimism uh, ecosystem. So you have a introduction to Stargate, which hasn't started yet. I believe it starts on the 8th, today's the 7th, but this um, introduction to bridging has started today, November 7th, and you have one week to complete this. So here you'll learn how Stargate works and how you can perform the most basic action, bridging. So bridge, uh, for beginner Stargate, bridge at least $10 or $10 or less of not ten dollars or less <laughs> anything over ten dollars of usdc and optimism from any chain um oh they really should have made a uh it's weird how they did that so bridge at least or more than 25 and you'll hit the medium stargate and bridge more than 50 and you get advanced Stargate Bridger. So that's into the optimism from any chain. Let's, let's bridge 50 USDC into optimism. So we'll come here. This is a little too bright. Ooh. You turn that turn that darkness on shoot all right we will connect our wallet and make sure that you're on a network where you have enough USDC so I need to go to polygon where I have enough and go to optimism so we will send we'll just send 75 i'll send a little more than 50 and it'll switch us over to polygon give it a token approval say hey this is okay to spend <clears throat> and then we will submit our transaction to bridge. And 
And this is the total gas fees. So one point three five Matic. That automatic. So that'll take 21 minutes to complete. And as long as you bridge more than <clears throat> 50, you'll be good. Uh, other chains don't take as long. Like if I bridge from Arbitrum, it wouldn't take very long at all. It's just Polygon, takes a little while. And Stargate, <clears throat> you can see they have pools across all these different networks. So you can select what network you want to access what token you can click here and you can even add to that token pool on that chain from Stargate. So you don't have to go to, you know, whatever, whatever Ave or whatever DeFi protocol you can think of. It's just, uh, you can come right here and add, you know, oh, when I do USDC Arbitrum, right here. You can also come here and farm your tokens out. I don't think I have any. No, nope. I don't think I have any pools. No, nope, not anymore. I am staking Stargate. I do have a locked up pretty good. So, STG, let's go. Um, and there's an overview. If you want to look into that so yeah let's I don't think we will get that verified just yet so check back after your transaction has been submitted and yeah happy happy hunting um, let's see if we can do this next one so looks like we can start this so why are bridges necessary in DeFi? To allow users to move assets between different chains. How does Stargate set itself apart as a bridge? It has native asset pools. Instant guaranteed finality and deep unified liquidity. Why is bridging an OFT different to bridging a pooled asset? An OFT is burnt on source and minted on destination, while pooled assets are deposited on source and released on destination. What is a native stablecoin? A stablecoin available on that network. What is an accurate summary of the Delta algorithm? Uh... Let's see, I'm not really sure. Let's try mathematical algorithm calculates, calculates bridging fees. We might have to run through this again, but that's okay. Okay, four and five. So, native asset pools. So four native assets Okay, let's see. Four and five. There we go. Bada boom. Just go through, follow those, pause the video, and you will be able to get that. And this actually starts on the 8th, so we will have to wait. But, yeah, check out Stargate. I've been using it for a while. It's uh, been really handy when it comes to sending assets across different chains. I guess they're pretty quick, except for Polygon, <laughs> unfortunately. But I think that's just the nature of their network. But, yeah, if you have any questions, comments, need any help, uh, leave them down below. And I'll reach back out and do what I can. But with that... This is the Blockchain Report. Have a wonderful day. Peace.